locked. <laughs> they were locked. It's got manual brakes though. Yeah. So. That's epic. Dude, the front tires are locked. <laughs> Today we're going to be installing the E46 8.8 kit in Dylan's gift car. breakdown or something like that eventually but today we're going to show you guys how easy it is to install the 8a kit which is a complete subframe replacement with the ford 8.8 differential uh, our g-force axles and uh, everything he already has in the car should fit just like as factory so all the factory suspension pickup points are in the oem positions and uh, it should just all go together smoothly so i guess let's get this show on the road now that the car is melted it was covered in snow about 30 minutes ago and uh Oh. All right, here we're under Dylan's car. See, we have the SLG dual caliper kit. <laughs> He's running two coilovers and adjustable upper and lower arms. Um, you don't have to run upper and lower arms, but I mean, it's a drift car, so you know you want that adjustment. Currently, he's on a non-M diff, and uh, yeah, this is all about to go out. But we're gonna keep the 330 trailing arms in the car. Don't need to go to M3. Gonna pull out all this drive line all the way to the transmission, and. Uh, Yep, let's get started. All right, so we're about to drop the subframe. All the arms are off, diff and axles are out. Um, I guess, yeah, let's just see if she falls out. She might fight back a little bit, might be a little stuck on there. Oh, not at all. She's out. You feel like not at all holds it? Twist it. All right. Now we just got the bare chassis here. If you haven't done it, I recommend welding in reinforcement plates while you're underneath the car. You know what, you, while you're doing all this stuff. This one's already has it done. So uh, I guess now we'll assemble the new subframe. Clean this up maybe. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe, of... maybe lop off those <laughs> zip screws. Yeah, whatever, dude. You run good. All right, sweet. All right, time to install the the rev shift on uh, green polyurethane bushing is the one we recommend. Boom! Cut! The bushings are in. Got the rev shift greens. All right, let's uh, compare all the parts and put it in the car. So I just ran and got the uh, slip. This is the same piece that's underneath this bellow. So as you can see here, it's the full five inch. We mill it down so that you get to use this huge spline. This huge spline is why our shafts are so strong compared to the comp competitors. And this paint on here is like a Teflon, so it has lubrication to move in and out. They stay pretty tight when they're new, and they loosen up and slide really easy yeah, when they get used a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we can make drive shafts for like any 8A kit and most M3 dip swaps. So we do a lot of like M3 dip swap drive shafts, so let us know if you can help with that as well. All right, well, I guess the next thing is the axles. This is probably the biggest difference. I mean, look at this thing. Um, these are billet um, M300 stubs, inner and outer, with OEM compatible ABS rings. They're huge, solid shafts as well with OEM GKN seals and rubber bellows. Um, I mean, you can't really get any better than that. This is the best in the market. We now offer an upgraded outer stub as well, made of an exotic material that's even stronger. The dips, I mean, I guess another big change. This is a non-M diff. What ratio is this one, Dylan? Uh, 293. 
This is like a stock 330 diff. So this is a 293, we're gonna go with 3.9. And this is all aluminum housing from the Ford Explorer. This is the iron housing from BMW. This aluminum one is way stronger and is used as a stress member in the subframe. So we, when you order a kit from us, we prepare it with all new insides. So new, new ring gear, new seals. We put the aluminum bushings in for you. All the internal parts are new, including the carbon fiber uh, LSD. And then last but not least, the custom subframe. These are all TIG welded in upstate New York. We put the uh, rev shift bushings in. We can make these either black, white, or zinc coated. And uh, you're about to see why it's the best piece in the market when it slips right into the car. All right, I guess now is the time for uh, reassembly. I mean, we were, I was just talking to Dylan and we thought it was gonna take like two days just because, you know, we're bums. But I mean, I think it's been like an hour and a half and everything's ready to go back in the car. Yeah, and we cleaned it. Yeah, Amy cleaned it, so. Alright, so for the front ones, we're going to use we're going to use these washers. We make them the same profile as the OEM kind of cross brace, which you're not going to use anymore. So, boom, boom, good to go. Yeah, it fits like a glove. Alright, so the subframe is now in, and uh, we got the arms in. So basically all we did was put the subframe up and slip the arms back in. We used the supplied hardware, this thing. Woo woo. Um, so the next thing to do is just lift the diff up, then we can install the axles. Um, then the drive shaft, and then we're done. I mean, honestly, this project like, is gonna take us, I think we can finish it, like, honestly, pretty quick. Yeah, we've been hanging out, just talking pretty much the entire time. We're just spending all the time filming. If we weren't trying to be Tom Cruise, it'd be done already. <laughs> Sweet. Dude, I think your axle CV was blowing out here. You missed your wheel bearing? It's kind of yeah, covered in... So it was at one point, um, I blew out like a... What do you call this? Like outer cup, like this right here? The CV seal the thing? CV, this CV just started just pissing grease one day. Well now we got OEM GKM speed boots, so... Yeah. Boom. Alright, sick. Alright, on to the next. I guess we'll get to slap the diff in. And, uh, yeehaw. Oh wait, we just, we're doing the drive shaft now, but we forgot to show everybody that we put the diff in. So I guess let's do that first. Boom. The diff is in. I guess we should, put, I mean, we can show it, it levitates. Look, it levitates. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is put the drive shaft in. And the first thing we're gonna put on there is the adapter for the transmission to replace the rubber thing. And we're gonna go to that, to our U-joints on either end. This one is, that one will be on the transmission, and this one's gonna be on the diff. And uh, yeah, so I guess let's do that. And we have this for like every different BMW transmission there is. Or so what, what is this exactly? This is like BMW ZF, right? Larger diameter to 1320 or 1350 U joint. So this is yeah, the BMW ZF, uh, I believe it's 94 mil pattern, maybe 86 mil um, to 1350 Spicer. And um, we have them 100, in the 105 mil, the 110 mil, 14 and 12 mil. So any BMW transmission, we have the thing. Boom. Also, if you order this kit and you have a different motor and transmission, like an LS swap, the drive shaft, we can make it custom for you. There's no extra charge. So just heads up, we can make it whatever. So we're gonna throw this drive shaft in and then show you guys. drive shafts in guys we got our little adapter there three and a half inch all the way back with a slip shaft big joints red loctite check out that clearance look at that look how nice and tight that is to the body just enough no modifications to the body at all 
One more step done, this is flying by. All right, next, axles. And I think we're basically ready to drive. All right, so we got the, we got the axles apart we, for this uh, install because the arms were in the car. We decided to take the inner stubs off and install them first. Um, Dylan, give that thing a nice push into the diff for the satisfying click you're gonna look for. Oh, man, it's good, it's good. Oh, man, maybe we need a piece of wood. Smack it in here a little bit. There you go. All set. Dude, she's man. All right, next for the next, we'll slide the axles in. All right, welcome back. We this is the next day. Obviously, we uh, we got changed, but um, so far I'd say what we worked like three hours, three and a half hours in the swap. Yeah, I mean we were talking most of the time. Just yeah, like, you know. trying to uh, <laughs> make a video. Eating pizza, so it took a little bit longer, but uh, so we're back the next day, and the axes are in. So I mean, I guess. You just, what we did was take the inner stub off, but if you have the arms out, you can assemble the whole thing without removing them. Um, to remove the studs, you're gonna wanna torch them a little bit and impact them out. When you retighten these, um, you're gonna wanna do 75 foot-pounds with red Loctite. And then uh, I impact the outers on with red Loctite, but what was the torque spec, Sean? 216 foot-pounds. 216 foot-pounds. Um, this part of the kit's pretty nice. No longer do you need a special tool and a little weird nut that just strips out to put, take your axles in and out. You just have this nice big nut. Big nuts are better nuts. <laughs> Big nut. <laughs> so I guess next is we'll fill it with fluid, put the exhaust on and add a vent hose to the top of the differential so that it doesn't spew any fluid up if he's doing some kickflips. And uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> so it doesn't oh, end up like the last kit. This yeah. is 200, 200, 200 foot pounds for this, sorry. Chris, insert editing thing. Imagine all of But uh, yeah, she's looking pretty good. So we're, what we're, fluid we're gonna use is Redline 75W140. It's a GL5 with friction modifier already in it. We offer it on the website if you wanna get through us. Um, basically, you wanna use any 75W140 that has friction modifier in it. We just happen to like to use Redline because it's the highest quality fluid you can really get. So um, you're just gonna, these are NPT fittings. So to fill it, we're just gonna make sure the bottom one is snug. And then we're gonna go to the fill hole over here and fill the fluid until it comes back out. Let's do it. Yeah, boy. That's for my vent. Show my muscles, dude. Dude. Look at that red line. Oh, wait. <laughs> red line. <laughs> Product placement. Workout. Dude, this is tough. Especially when the plunge is like an inch. There's no stroke to this. It's not getting any fluid out. Do you deal with that a lot? <sighs> yeah, I do. This is pretty terrible. All right. This little guy here is the vent that you want to um, put a hose on. So I just grabbed some like winter washer hose from the auto parts store. You can slide it on there. You wanna go up into the car, not into the car, but up above the diff sort of, and I just loop it a few times and zip tie it to the subframe and we're good to go. All right guys, we just uh, did the vent out of the diff, wrapped it around the gas tank fill tube. It might be legit, we're gonna find out, but it should be fine. Basically, you're just trying to raise the vent out of the diff, so. All right, so next up is installing the exhaust. So this is a slip fit kit, custom from Fresh Produce, so this is gonna take like two seconds. So, uh, snap back to when this is in. All right, the kit is finally in. We're ready to go outside again, finally. Like, the oil's in, the diff's in, the axles are in, the drive shaft's in, the kit is fully installed. Honestly, not that bad of a deal. If you come in here, you can just check it out. He has plenty of exhaust clearance to his, you know, previous exhaust. Obviously, it's a custom piece, but uh, it's pretty sweet. The three and a half inch shaft, it's tight, but well. Um, everything's pretty much ready to go. So I think we'll uh, lower the car down, get Dylan to go outside, maybe give us some shreds and uh, see how it does. I mean, this is his first time ever using the 8.8, so I think it'll be interesting to see how it feels different compared to his uh, well the diff before. All right, we're almost ready to go outside, so why don't you give us a quick lowdown on what this car is. People, the people have some uh, context to what's about to happen. Okay, uh, so uh, I think I talked about it earlier in the video, but 2002 BMW E46 330 Coupe. Um, had the car for five or six years now. Um, started bone stock. So it's got a eight point roll cage, some Buddy Club P1 seats. Um, Handbrake, full cage, I think I already said that. Link MXG dash, um, it's got Link Fury X ECU. 
let's pop the hood. It always has the best wheel game. Yeah. It's like a lot of different wheels, but they're all good. They're a little bit chewed up, but whatever. They're race car stuff. Yeah. Um, it's a stock M54 B30. Um, it's got the seems legit oil pump in it. It's got a fresh produce MFG turbo kit, so it's a Borg Warner S257 turbo smart wastegate. Um, What's with the M50 adapter plate on too? It's yeah. just a prototype, so it's not in guys. That, yeah, it's lasted uh, four or five years now. Yeah. Um, like I said, Link ECU, uh, Bosch 1000cc injectors. Uh, I don't really know. 12 pounds, made 415 wheel horsepower, about 400 foot pounds of torque. Um, S54 oil filter housing, oil cooler. Nice. Oh, typical, yeah. typical stuff. I mean, there's so much we could go over, but yeah. Basic yeah. rundown. It's got. Um, Basically, like, coilovers. Yeah, it's like a uh, like a medium power turbo build. Yeah. Hell yeah. So the M3 M3 front fenders. M3 front fenders. Was that Musk over rear fenders in the rear? Yeah. And then, uh, OEM plus still, so stock rear bumper, stock front bumper, and then uh, some side screws and stuff. Sweet. All right. And we can talk about it all day. Yeah. We're not no. gonna talk about it no. all day. No. <laughs> so let's just, uh, I guess we'll just go outside and feel out the car a little bit on our little test road here. Whatever, I mean, I'm excited to see what you think of it, just the difference, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, because uh, we're going from a, a 2.93 to a 3.9. A big, so big it's, change. Uh, it's just the entire uh, one yeah. revolution, whatever you want to call it. Luckily, it's got a six speed, so that helps out in the highway. Definitely. But, uh, it should be pretty wild. We're doing a lot of faster tracks now, so third gear will be nice. Cause it's been stuck in second for a while. Yeah. The two nine and stuff. Definitely. Sweet. Awesome. I just want to note so everybody can notice it how low this car is. I the thing is on the ground. It's scraping frame. Should we take it up and down the road and warm it up? Yeah, sure. Peppy. That's crazy. It spools third gear so easy now. Was it really laggy before? Yeah. Dude, I love the big dash. Seven inch. It's great. I wish I had seven inches. I only think I only have five. No, dude, five is times perfect size, right? <laughs>
That third gear is a little bit more rowdy now. Is it right up here? Yeah, it's left right at the side. So final impressions, easy install pretty much. That oh, I was mean, that was a quick install. We could have done that in the garage floor. It's With dedication in like four hours. It's definitely way harder to uh, install like turbo kits and things like that than this. Yeah. This is all, it was literally just bolt in. We just put it in. I think you counted it, it was like something like 30 bolts or something like that. Yeah, it's like 24 bolts, something like that. Yeah, so I mean, it wasn't bad. And uh, I think anybody at home can really do these kits. You get like the strength of the 8.8, .8. you get that sweet LSD, which obviously yeah. works. Yep, and the gear ratio is sick. Yeah, you can, the 3.9 is really cool. Yeah, you can make the gear ratio work for whatever engine setup you have. Yeah. And uh, I think it's really good. It works for drifting, drag racing, road racing. Kind of can do driving. it all. Daily driving, Have really. Fun, yeah. yeah. I mean, really, can do it all. So, uh, looking forward to seeing this car out on track and uh, once Dylan gets used to it and kind of really pushes it, and we can go from there. Who needs a quick change where you can just have a 488? It probably comes out in, I mean, I don't remember what similar times, but it would come out pretty good. Yeah, yeah I, I think changing it would be within like a couple minutes yeah, between yeah. changing an 88 in this versus the, the ratios in this quick change. Yeah. Cool. God, you don't, you don't even have to suffer on your way home. It's gonna be like warm in there with the heat on. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I think it's a real street car. All right, well, thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll, uh, you know, follow up with this project later on. Uh, hopefully, you learn a little bit about the E46 8.8 kit over this video. If you have any questions, feel free to message us or write a comment. And until then, uh, catch you later. Subscribe, like, do all that stuff everybody says to do, and uh, catch you later. Peace. More B-roll. Performance mopping. Sean is the fucking mop expert up in here. Impressive since it's a really long tail on scale.